Devin Sisler, and this is Family Yoga. A couple pointers about Family Yoga before we begin. It might be a little bit messy and a little bit different than a regular yoga class, and that's okay. So if you get in one relaxing breath, if you get in this little session, that's the most important part. And adults, if you want your children to do yoga, more importantly than asking them or telling them to do yoga, is you doing yoga yourself because they will see that you are prioritizing your self-care, that you are maybe learning something new, and they may watch, they may join in, but whatever happens, they're going to reap the benefits of the fact that you are doing this practice. And at any time, for anyone, if you need a drink of water, if you need to take a little break, that's A-OK. -okay. And if you're ever finding that you're laughing, you are definitely doing it right. So I am curious if you have ever thought about what is the opposite of sadness? I used to think the opposite of sadness was happiness. But what I'm thinking now, I've changed that perspective. And what I think now is the opposite of sadness is actually openness because it's okay to be sad. And sometimes if we try to squash down the sad, then we get other feelings like frustration. Have you ever had more than one feeling at the same time? You know, frustration because you're feeling sick and you're feeling icky and you can't go to a birthday party or do something you wanted to do. I've had a lot of those feelings. So this practice today, we're going to move through a lot of um, what in the yoga world is called heart opening practices with a lot of side and back body support so that we can have openness about whatever we are feeling. We are going to begin on our backs. So join me. Place your feet down, reach your hands, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, and we'll lift hips to the sky, arms overhead, sink hips down, hands come down. Littler yogis in the room, if you see a bridge, you can crawl under it. Bigger yogis in the room, don't smush anyone who's growing under your bridge. Take that a few more times, linking your breath with your movement, breathing in, lifting up. Lowering down, breathing out. Once more, lifting up, hands overhead. This time, take one leg to the sky, place that ankle on your opposite knee, squeeze your hips and legs for a hip opening back bend. Place that foot down, other leg reaches to the ceiling, and then that ankle comes on the top of the opposite knee. Place both feet down, squeeze your glutes, and then lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, Breathing in, you can close your eyes if that feels more relaxing. Remember, if you get one relaxing breath during this practice, that's a success. Squeeze your knees in and then rock and roll like a little ball. Up and down either side of your spine. You can make a silly face as you come up. And then roll over onto hands and knees. Place your hands down, inhale, cow, you can say moo. Meow for cat pose. Cow pose, moo. Cow pose, cat pose, meow. Once more, moo. Meow. Child's pose. Breathing in together. Breathing out. Make your way to your downward facing dog. It's an upside down V pressing into your hands. You can bend one leg and then the other. You can bend both your legs. Step one foot forward, place your opposite knee down, sweep your fingers to the sky, and then twist towards your front leg. Breathing in, lifting your spine higher, breathing out, deepening into your twist. Both hands down, hop switch, inhale up, twist in this direction. Breathing in, tall spine, breathing out, deepen into the twist. Both hands down, step back, feet to hands, and we'll do one sun salutation. 
salutation. So if you want to make it a little bit, you can take a variation or modification if you want. Lift your hands up, lower all the way down, halfway lift. Step back to a high plank pose. Feel the strength in your belly and your core. Lower onto your belly and then lift up to baby cobra. Lower all the way down. Lift up again, baby cobra. Lower all the way down. This time, lift up into locust pose. Hands and toes and nose come off the mat. Breathing in, feel the strength of your back body. And then child's pose. Hips to heels. Downward facing dog. Feet to hands. Roll all the way up. Hands to the sky. Back to center. That was one sun salutation. You might feel a little warmer. I know I do. Next, what we're going to do is dancer's pose. So if you ever know the pose that I'm saying, you can just go for it. I'm going to place a hand at the wall for a little extra support. I'm going to bend my opposite leg, take my ankle in my hand, and this might be as far as I go today. That would be totally fine, and it's okay for you too. Press your ankle into your hand, and then you may be able to reach your opposite arm forward in space. Dancer's pose. You unwind. I'm going to turn around so I can use the wall on this side. I could also use um, another a yogi in the room or a couch or a chair or a table. So take your opposite knee bend. Notice if this feels like it's your edge on this side, that's okay. Press your foot into your hand. And then if you're ready for a little balance, a standing bouncing back bend, you can reach your other arm forward in space. Lift all the way up. Let's do that once more on each side. If you're feeling a little more adventurous, you could step away from the wall. If you want the wall or the couch or your friend, you can use those again. So press your foot back. It might feel a little different on this side the second time. Reach your other arm forward. Unwind. Other side. Here we go. Hold on to your ankle, touch the wall, press forward and back at the same time. All the way up and back to standing. Now shake one arm and shake one foot. Shake your other hand, shake your other foot. Shake both hands, shake one foot, shake one foot, shake one hand, shake one hand. Give everything a little wiggle. Breathing in together. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. From here, we are going to get into camel pose today. So, we start this with a, a couple of things. I'm going to come down onto my knees. I have a lot of padding here, so you want to make sure this feels okay on your knees. And then one hand on one ankle, and I'm squeezing my legs, I'm squeezing my belly to help make that happen. Other hand to the sky. You can make some big circles with that arm, or you can just stay still. Let the strength of your belly and your arm bring you up. We'll go to the other side. So squeeze the legs, squeeze the belly to the spine, lean back, hand on an ankle, other arm up. Inhale. You could do one side and then the other side again, or you can take both, oh, sorry. Squeeze your inner legs, squeeze your belly, lean back, and then lift your sternum towards the ceiling. Breathing in for our full camel pose. 
You can look forward in space to protect your neck. You can look up if that feels good. You could lower your head and look back and behind you if that feels okay for your neck and your blood pressure. Inhale all the way up. And now press back into another child's pose. Come to rest. So camel pose helps me feel really, really open in my collarbones, in my sternum, when I'm experiencing a lot of big emotions like sadness or fear, that part can get kind of compressed. If I am doing a lot of work at the computer, that part can also get kind of schlumpy. So this practice helps us open through that part of our body and allow any emotions, anything we're feeling to really flow on through. Make your way to a downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. The other reason I really like camel pose is that camels drink a lot of water so that they can go for a long time through the desert. And that's how I feel about my yoga practice. I do a little bit of yoga every day so that I can get through with whatever the day is going to throw at me. For our final resting pose today, I want to introduce you to crocodile pose. So I come onto my belly and I make a little pillow with my hands. You can do the same. You can use any blankets or pillows to help give a little cushion. And if you want to have a double crocodile pose, your family member may come to lie on your back. And that's it. This is our Shavasana for today. So we'll take a few minutes here. You can stay nice and still. And then imagine what a crocodile snoring under the water sounds like. Breathing in together. Breathing out. And there's a little ripple through the water that you're in, so you can give everything a little wiggle, waggle, a little shake. Breathing in together, find your crocodile snore once again. This pose helps us breathe more deeply into the back body, into the lower lungs. It helps soften the belly and it helps me relax, which is really important right now. Roll onto one side. You can curl in and get nice and small with your family member. You can curl around and do a little cuddle if you'd like right here, resting for a moment. Your eyes can be closed if that feels more relaxing for you. So family yoga helps us get our practice in no matter what, in the midst of the chaos. I like when I turn on a guided meditation and they say, find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. It's a comical thing for me to think about right now because that is not part of my world and that's okay. We can find our calm in the eye of the storm with practices like this. So come to a comfortable seat. Here, I'll have Manny Teddy with me and pre pretend he's my little guy. So you can place one hand on your heart once again, one hand on your belly, or you can do that to your, your buddy. You can feel a deepening, a softening of the breath. And just observe without expectation or judgment how you are feeling right now. Wherever you are feeling, it's okay. If you weren't feeling any sadness or fear or anger, maybe a little concern. So just observing those feelings, those emotions with acceptance, with a little bit of space, 
allows them to flow through without getting stuck, without getting suppressed, so you can show up for the bigger things that happen in life. And if you'd like to take a little time after this video is over, you can share with your buddy, with your family member, how you're feeling right now. Take a moment to listen and then switch roles so one of you can be the speaker, the other can be the listener. When you're complete, take three mindful breaths. thank your partner. I'd like to thank you for practicing with me today. Let's join our voices in one ohm, breathing in. Om. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May there be peace in my mind, peace in my words, peace in my actions. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.